Is it possible to 3D print a model before Games Workshop even announce it? Well, with the help of this week's sponsor, Frozen, who sent me their Sonic Mighty 8K, we're gonna find out. 10th edition is coming, and with it, a new invasion of Terranids that hopefully won't be beaten to a pulp by plot armor. Already, there are models coming out from the trailer Games Workshop has shown us, but they hid off screen the greatest model that will come with 10. Unlike the channels that leak models and info directly from Games Workshop, I had to go into the depths of the internet and scrape through countless posts about suspected leaks for the new models. And connecting all of the dots, I managed to spell out Games Workshop's secret. Dante has been Primaris found. Tyranids are going to be big in 10th edition. One plus one is two, so therefore, today I will be 3D printing the Apex Swarm Lord. This is a prototype I printed on my 4K printer a while ago, but since I got an 8K printer and this revelation, I have to print a better one in 8K before Games Workshop leak their PG-13 take on it. If you're getting into 3D printing or Terranids for 10th edition, you need to get your hands on this guy's models. He is the best creator for Terranids right now. And although most of his sculpts come at a premium, I think it's safe to say they are very worth it. People like to complain about 3D printing saying that we aren't supporting the salary designers in Games Workshop. I would rather support small creators that are putting out insane works of art and pushing the hobby forward. These are the creators we as a community need to get behind. I try and showcase as much of the best models that I find on this channel, but others in the Patreon Discord have shared photos of their models, which I'll be doing a video on soon. There isn't one part of this kit that I would say that the original is better. There is three different torso sizes with multiple options of each one, but I'm going to pick all of the bigger pieces for this Swarm Lord to make it as intimidating as possible. But the best part is the cost to print this model, which I'll reveal later, but first let's print this beast out. Just as a side note, this is my first time lapse. They do get better in the future, well, eventually. <laughs> I forgot to mention this model is pre-supported as well. So it's literally plug and print. It just makes it so much easier when the creator takes their time on their pre-supports. I haven't had a single problem with these models on a couple of different printers using different resins. You also are probably asking, who is the creator? I'll get to that later, but after taking the parts off the plate and washing them in the wash and cure station, you can see how well these supports come off helping to keep all of those high definition details intact. I chucked it in the cure station, which has a fan feature to help dry the leftover alcohol off the model before curing it. The swords are that big that they take up so much space on this turntable. This model is amazing. Building the model was easy as well. I use Gorilla's super glue gel because 95% of the time it works all the time. It tries very quickly once you put the parts together, but there are some times when it just doesn't want to stick. What glue do you use? Leave a comment below because I might start looking at alternatives. I previously done a video on the new Farside model that I 3D printed and it came with these amazing instructions. Hopefully in the future, we will see more creators do the same. Here's the 4K and 8K Swarm Lord side by side. I used a few different options on each one, but I primed the 4K one with gray primer through the airbrush and it's so light that on camera, you can barely see where the cylindrical highlight even is. But hopefully you can see the differences in the model with the resolution. So I know that it's High Fleet Leviathan in the spotlight for 10th, but I just paint what I think looks cool. So after priming and setting for highlighting, I got my brush out and started painting the Swarm Lord as Kraken. I used Palette Bone Speed Paint for the main body parts and these sculpts are perfect for those types of paints. With the rest of my Tyranids, I used Blood Red Speed Paint but I want to try out this red from Vallejo Express. 
because realistically, all of the nids in the high fleet aren't going to have the same shade of color. I really like the coconut crab nids, but I know for a fact I won't be able to do that over an entire high fleet. But do you think there would be a way to do a simpler, similar version on Kraken? The little fence all over the body were painted in this turquoise color to really make it pop. The bone swords are painted with Black Lotus Express paint, which I'll add texture to later to make it less boring because these swords are meant to be crackling with bioelectrical power. So I'll experiment with them to see if I can make it look cool. I used a black brown oil wash mix that I'm starting to run out on now because I just use it so much. Oil washes and oil paints in general have been a real game changer for me. If you haven't already tried them, then please give them a go. It's so much easier than non-oil and in my opinion, gives a lot better results. After wiping away all the excess oil paint with a little makeup sponge soaked in white spirits, it's starting to take shape. A new thing I've been doing for the last few of my models is doing highlights in acrylic gouache, which I still don't know which is the proper way to say it. These paints try really matte, so I use that to my advantage. With this Swarm Lord, I tried stippling on multiple different shades of the bony cream and adding more white with each pass. I painted thin lines of multiple shades of red on the different bone armor parts before edge highlighting the whole model. I've been so used to painting armies in a week for videos that taking my time on one model is just so refreshing. If you like these types of videos, make sure you like the video to help it spread like a high fleet tendril. The total cost of this model was actually quite high. The price of the STL file at the moment is $54 and it used $5 in resin. So it's basically the same cost as the original model. But on the 26th of April, which is Sinos Day, the creator is having a sale where the file will be 50% off. So hopefully I have this video out before then. Otherwise, this is kind of awkward. I will be reminding all of my Patreons and YouTube members with a link to the creator in the private Discord, which you can join as well and be a part of possibly the best Discord in the universe. I don't really know too much about Tyranids other than that they are so much fun for me to paint at the moment. So what sort of models should I add in next? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I don't know whether to laugh or cry right now because I was just finished up the model and I'm just about to film and tragedy has struck. The model fell <laughs> from probably like three feet, four feet maybe, and it just smashed into a load of tiny pieces. So the way it does, oh my God. Oh, the tail. <laughs> oh wow, that's really broke. Oh no. That's the way the sword's meant to go. It's meant to go like just like a straight line. Probably see here, looks like dipped in. So I have no idea where that bit is. I think once we put the weight on, it's four lean. Yeah. So upon repairing the model, I don't know how much I've included in to be honest, because I've, I've filmed for about 15 minutes trying to fix the model. But upon repairing it, there's a lot of places that are, are gone. Here's the grand reveal of the broken Apex Swarm Lord. What do you think of this Swarm Lord? I personally love it and it's gonna go on a display shelf where I can just look at it every day. The STL download is like the Games Workshop box, but so much better. The bone swords that come with the official kit look like they might be the height of an intercessor, but these bone swords are almost the size of two, which makes so much more sense for the final form of the Swarm Lord. If you want to see more amazing turreted models to put Games Workshop to shame, then you should watch this video next because I printed off the most expensive STL files by the same creator. As always, I want to give a huge thanks to all of my Patreons and YouTube members. Without you, none of this is possible. Your support literally means the world to me. And I'll catch you all in the Discord.